Okay, um, this is the video um, I promise I'd do for y'all that has the information about taking the 3D drawing and placing it onto our layout space or our paper space. Um, so let's just get this done as quickly as we can. Um, number one, there's our 3D shape. You see it's all done, it's all correct, we're ready to go. Um, <coughs> right now we're in the zero layer. Let's put ourselves in the object layer. Now the reason we do that is our zero layer is a no print layer, so if you do these next steps in the zero layer, nothing's going to absolutely print at all. So <coughs> what we're going to do here is we're now in the object layer. You need to look at that chart that I gave you guys, and it tells you what size drawing it needs to be, what size paper, and the one for this one is the A size. Oh, and by the way, the reason I chose this one to do the demo on, this one also has center lines, so I want to show you how to do that at the same time. Um, I also listed that on the chart I gave you, which ones needed center lines and which ones don't. All right, so this one was an A size, so we're going to click over to the A size, and here's our actual drawing. Now, please do not forget to look on that sheet to name your drawing, proper date on your drawing. Of course, your name will be on this, and you will have the drawing number, so make sure you do that to all of them. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we are going to go ahead and we are going to start to put our views in. We're in the object layer. We're going to lay out the tab. We're coming over here to base. And when we click on base, we're taking it from model space. We're going to click on this and we're going to wait for it to swirl around and it's going to come through if it'll wake up. Okay, now there's our front view. Now if you're doing this and another view comes in and it's completely screwed up, you guys can come up to here and change that information by choosing here. So this person was smart enough, they drew it in the proper thing for the front. So there's our front and I'm placing it where our front view should be and hitting enter. Now the next thing is, is if I come straight out here, I can pull these out like so. Here's my side view. Now, I would do this also for this top view, but I purposely clicked it so it stopped it. So in case you screwed up and you did that, it's not a screw up. Um, if you only get the two views in and go, oh my gosh, I need it again. All you have to do is come up here to project it. Select your view and pull your next view up. Now I am going to have you do something different you're not used to. I'm going to have you go ahead and put the isometric view up here like so and put that and let it create. Now this view is just for show and I'm going to take this and click it, edit the view, and I'm not going to add hidden lines. I'm just going to leave them to be visible. That way you can see exactly what that looks like. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is remember when you were doing orthographics the second nine weeks. I had you guys use that specific formula to center up your drawing so you had the X and the Y information. I think you're grown up enough and you know this program well enough that you should be able to look at the drawing that the space from this line to the first should be about the same as from this line to here and this line over. I actually, I know it sounds crazy, I would put my fingers on the screen and I would do that to see how it works. Now honestly, this one's a little bit far over so all I'm going to do here is take my move, select it. I'm going to move it a little bit closer. And I'm going to guesstimate between these views here. And those look pretty well. Now, if you're OCD and you got to make sure things are perfect, you can throw a dimension in there if you like. You could actually offset your lines, move them perfectly. But uh, this is what I'm looking at. If this space is approximately the same as this space, as this space, you're centered properly on the X. And if this and this and this is about the same, that's properly spent, centered on the Y. That's all there is to do. Now those first, I think, 12, 1 through 12, and then 4, 1, and I think all the way until you get to 6. When you get to 6, 1, 6, 2, that's when you have to start putting center lines in. So for the most part, you're going to be done. If you do this, save it off turn it in on headline. But I want to show you how to put your center lines in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put myself in the zero layer. 
And you know how when we did our center lines, we would offset? You can't offset a solid object. It's just the view. Oh, let's do it this way first. Let's go to center. And let's go ahead and go to our annotate, dimension, and come to our center mark. And actually go and actually touch the circle and pick it. And pick this one and this one here. Okay, now with that being done, we're going to go ahead and select and we're just going to drag these guys out and put on your F8 for ortho so that you know it's going to stay nice and straight. So I've pulled this one out. If I want, I could copy this and just plop it into its place or I could just pull them out. Whatever's easiest for you guys. Um, remember, it's always what what you feel more comfortable with because there's multiple ways of doing this. So I've got this going on here and I'm just pulling these out. <clears throat> and now notice this one here across. I'm going to pull this one out and I'm going to pull this all the way across. But did you realize I just pulled it across these other ones? So I'm going to take and I'm going to actually try to make Actually, let me put this back because it'll be easier to grab it. Okay, this one here. I'm going to delete this one and this one here. Let's pull this one back. That was a dumb move on my part. I thought I'd easily be able to grab it. And I'm sure there is a way. I'm just tired. So I'm going to pull that one out. Now, I've got that all set up. Notice I'm not worried about this one. I'm going to put a center line in here, but this is the same as here. So when I get this one in, I'll copy it and I'll just move it over there. So my next thing, let's come over here to our zero layer. And let's do the zero layer as a dummy layer. Okay, a dummy layer meaning I've, I've got to do something to offset. So I'm going to come here to my simple circles and take this and this. I'm going to take a line from here to here and here and I'm going to do this on this top edge here and notice I went way over there I didn't have to do that I could made it shorter um, it's y'all's choice on that it's it's not a big deal and I'm going to take it from here and from here now, once I get that done, this is where we can do our offset. Now, remember, the reason I did it in the red is I don't have to erase them if I don't care to. And I'm just going to offset these ones out. And I'm doing this so I can trim up my lines because I am picky. I want my lines <coughs> properly spaced. So, what I'm going to do from here is my trim. And I'm going to hit my space bar. Trim here, trim here, trim here, here, and these guys down here. All right, so I have that set. All right, the next thing, I'm just going to put ourselves in a different layer so you can see things. Um, and we'll talk about these layers we have. And I'm going to freeze this red one off. Okay, so. Here we go, we have this set. So here's a center line here. I'm going to copy this one over from that hidden line to this hidden line. So it's all set, it's all where it needs to be. But check this out, guys. See the center line? It doesn't look like a center line. So we need to do that. Now remember our command LT scale. LT scale. On these, they're pretty small drawings. So let's change it to a 0.5 and watch our center lines they all pop okay now at this point fill out your title block do your stuff and we should be good to go all right the next thing i want to do though is i want to talk to you about um goodness we need to do our layer states and i just noticed when i moved something earlier today i didn't take it off so that'll be better so i got to do layer states now um, hit your save while things are going good. Let's talk about layer states. 
Number one, we are not changing layer states in our A size. We're going to jump over to our model. We're going to open up our layer properties. Now, check this out, guys. MD hidden, MD hidden narrow, MD visible, MD visible narrow. These layers here have been added in automatically. When we did our layout, these came in completely ready to go. So we're going to have to change up our layer states because right now, we don't have any layer states saved for this. So we're going to do something just a little bit different that you're not used to, but you'll get over it. All right, the first thing I want you to understand is we are turning our layers different colors. I'm going to take center and hold down my control. I'm going to pick cut. Even though we haven't used cut, I'm still picking it. Same with dimension. I'm going to come down to hatch, hidden. And I'm going to take, well, these ones are already white, so I don't have to do it. Paper is not a printable, so I'm going to leave that alone. And I'm going to go ahead and take the text. Now, with these right here, I can choose any of the color, and I want you to pick your white. White, which is black, black is white. So I'm going to do that, and it should change all mine at one time. Okay? Now, the only thing else I need to change is see this hidden, hidden to, hidden to? I'm going to pick this hidden to, change it to hidden. See this hidden to? It's going to get changed to hidden. Okay? So now we're all set and ready to go. We're good? All right. So with that being said, we are all set where we need to be. I'm going to come up here to our layer states. And let me find that. It's right here. Layer states. I'm going to go ahead See, this one says print. I think whoever made, uh, you guys will have this one here. Let's click on new. And on this one, we're going to go 3D ready to print. Okay? Now, the 3D ready to print means it's just our basic orthographic. Okay? And we can actually hear description. Basic, ortho, um, I'm ready to print and we can tell it okay now this is done but I, I don't want you to have to do this every time so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click export okay so we're gonna take export and what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna put it to your student drive okay so I'm just gonna throw it on my desktop for right now but you need to have it go to your student drive now check this out See, it says 3D ready to print. It's a .las file. Remember that, people. It's a .las file. And hit save. Okay? So now we can close. At this point, we are absolute ready. If we come over to the A size, we are ready to print as long as you've got all this information. And, of course, if you're ready to print, you click on your printer just as you normally would. Um, I don't even think it's going to work because I'm not at school. See, it's saying things are not here. Um, yeah, it's this would be the proper printer here at the school and the center print, and we would have to window. And remember, we're windowing from the format. This will already be done. And then I didn't pick a printer. I don't have any of the printers set up right now here at home. So let's go ahead and preview. And now we're set to go. And, of course, this is all done. That's as if we were going to actually print it. Print it. Now, this one here is not going to print it on the printer. Say this is one we have to turn into Edline. If you're going to turn this one to Edline, at this point, all I need you to do is hit your save. And then once you hit your save, um, you're going to go ahead and close it off. And you're going to go to Edline. And you're going to go and find the proper turn-in space. And this one's all done. Now, the next thing, I'm going to come here and show you when you're going to do the second, the next drawing. So let me come in here and let me call up. Let's take, I think I stole that one from him. Let me just take this one. This one has center lines, but I'm not going to be too worried about it. I'm going to open that up. Say this is the next one I'm going to start, and I put myself in the object layer 
and I come here to the A size and there you go Sean I stole yours so with this I'm going to come to the layout and I'm going to do the base model space here 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 that was real good I'm uh, going a little too quick guys that's better change this of course okay I would put my center lines in here and such and have that all done change all my titles now this is when we need to come over and change our layer states this is what we're going to do differently you're going to come here you're going to click on layer properties you are going to click directly to here layer state manager and now you are going to go import okay what you're going to be looking for see sometimes it does is it comes up as a dwg switch that over to an L las okay and then from the LES, let me see if I actually, where did I save it off to, guys? Let's see if it's in here. I don't know where I saved it to, so now i got to find it, which is not a good thing. Okay. Let me close that. As you can tell, it's going to be one of those days, guys. So let me come to this one, and let's check out where I actually saved it to. That'd be real helpful. Let's come to here. Let's go to import, even though it's already there. Hmm. Let's try it that way. Let's go to export. Oh, it went to the documents. All right, that makes sense. Let's hope it's there. No, you're not going to have these problems. I am just because I'm that tired. Um, layer properties, layer states, import for me, documents. Make sure this says LAS because otherwise you're not going to find it. Find it. And it's not even saying it's there, guys. So, so much for me finding what I need. Okay. I really thought it was going to be on my desktop. Well, back to here one more time, and I'm going to just do it a purpose. Export. And I'm going to make sure it goes out to my desktop. And my, it's right there. I can see it. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and I'm going to overwrite it. Close. All right, I know what I was doing. Import desktop LAS files. And I do not know why it's not showing. All right, there's got to be a glitch with my computer now, and I really don't care at this point. I think you guys will have enough information. Yeah, it's there, but it's not showing at all. So um, with that, once you find where it says LAS, all you do is tell it restore and close, and you'll be ready to save it off and turn it in. If I get a chance to redo this one, I will, but I think you've got it at this point. Save it to your server. You should be able to find your LAS. And you're just going to import them as you go. The main thing is, when you do your LAS files, you're going to see these little guys here are all going to be set and ready to go for you. Okay? Um, I think that should do it. I'm hoping it's all finished. So if that's the case, um, keep turning in your work. Do what you need to do. And I will be emailing you. And hopefully, if you got problems, Get in touch with me. I will see you guys in a couple weeks. All right. Bye.